Hello everybody and welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Garden. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to propagate your Sansevieria or snake plant. This is a really easy plant to propagate and you're going to love this video so stay tuned. So there's a couple different ways you can propagate this plant. It's through leaf cuttings or rhizome division. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it through leaf cuttings and also show you what it looks like when a new plant comes up through a rhizome that you can divide and also propagate. Let's take a closer look. Here's our Sansevieria right here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take cuttings from this and propagate them. But to give you an example, here is a new rhizome growing up through the surface of the soil. Once that begins to develop leaves, you can take that and just cut it off from where it's dividing from the main plant. And you can grow that as a whole new plant, propagating it in that way. So let's show you guys how to take cuttings from the Sansevieria in order to propagate them. You can propagate them either directly in soil, or if you would like to, you can do it in water as well. You want to make sure before you take cuttings from a Sansevieria that it's a nice healthy growing plant and this is in a healthy state. It's not very tall, it's a pretty small plant yet, but we have new leaves coming along the centers so it's in a healthy state. All you're going to have to do is find a scissors. Uh, we're going to get a couple of leaves here and just cut with a sharp sterilized scissors. And just like that, take your cutting. I'm gonna take a couple of these in order to show you guys. Just like that. And then I'll take one more from this leaf here. Here's our three cuttings. Let's move on to the next step. With these, what you can do, you can cut it into segments at least two and a half to three inches long per segment. And we're just gonna cut this one in half, just like so. And the same thing with one other cutting that we took. We're just gonna cut it right in half. The important thing when taking these cuttings is that you know which direction is up. Because if you place them, say like this one, upside down, they're not gonna grow. So you need to make sure the bottom is going to be what's planted into the soil. As soon as you take these cuttings, you can just place them right into the soil a couple of inches down. <laughs> right into the soil like we've done here. See, we have those three cuttings and then this one here making our fourth. And those are going to continue to grow like they normally would. They're gonna develop roots and then grow some new shoots after that. You can continue your normal watering schedule. Usually I water this cactus and succulent bed once every two weeks. Just give it a pretty moderate watering. You wanna make sure that the soil is moderately dry before you water it, so a way to do that it's just to stick your finger down into the soil and see if it feels wet. This is quite dry, so it's time to water. If it feels wet to you, you're not gonna water quite yet and you'll wait a few days until you do so. Again, just test the soil with your finger and see if it feels wet. If it feels mostly dry, then you'll be good to go. With this last one, we're just gonna place it into a cup of water and let it sit for about 30 days and at that point, it will begin to develop roots and then you can place it into the soil. I'm not sure if there's any advantage to placing it in water versus soil. It depends on what you wanna do. And maybe if your family wants to see the roots develop from this as a cool experiment. To illustrate, this is what your cuttings in water will look like. Get them a good inch or so below the water surface. And again, let it sit for about one month or 30 days and you'll begin to see roots forming from underneath. It's really cool for kids or your family if they want to see how that plant begins to grow. 
That's why I suggest doing this way. But otherwise, just in soil is fine and no problem with that. In no time, you'll begin to see your Sansevieria begin to multiply and grow. Um, eventually, we're going to take up a lot of this space besides this aloe vera and a few of the cactus with the Sansevieria. I'm gonna grow them all along here in order to make a nice, beautiful cactus planter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Sansevieria is a super easy plant. It's a really hardy plant as well. So you'll have no problems propagating this. But the very best way to propagate this with nearly 100% guarantee is through the rhizome. So if you find a rhizome growing up through the soil like this, just wait for it to develop leaves and then divide that from underneath. Once that's at that point, I'll make another quick video for you guys just to illustrate it for you. But in the meantime, this is also a great way. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy your snake plants, your cacti, your succulents, all of the above. There's so much fun to grow for your whole family. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, the Sansevieria is a really easy plant to propagate. It's also very hardy and does not require a lot of light. So it can be a joy to have around the house. Have a great and wonderful gardening adventure. We'll see you soon.